Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Harry Wolf, and I talk about code around these parts. Uh, this video is a fun little follow-up video from my previous video. Uh, if you've been following along, I've been having this X Days Since series where I've been making an application live with you, raw and mostly uncensored. And um, last week I encountered an, an error. Um, so you see, last video, the whole point was to make a form where you could create your own incident. You could submit it, and then when you submit it, what I was trying to do, and I hit a stumbling block, was to actually find who was trying to create that incident and then store that person as the one who created that incident. And I was using, um, I was using NextAuth as the library to do that, and I had an API called Get Session to get the user session and it was just not working. As you can see down here, uh, it was just null and it was just not working and it was taking up too much time so I bailed. Uh, since then, I have solved this issue and I am now correctly saving the, the creator ID who made the incident. Um, so what I realized is that when you're logged in, you have a session and we're storing it in a cookie. So if you go to the application tab, you go to cookies, you can see these are the three cookies that next off stores for me. C surf is security related callback URL is OAuth related session token is the one I am after. And this is the actual session token. So I actually have a commit here where I actually did the diff. And what I've done in this is the same endpoint to create a incident. I'm actually introspecting the uh, request cookies object. Uh, I have no idea how stable this is. I'm sure it'll break at some point in the future. And I'm pulling the session token from that cookie. And then I'm actually connecting to the session, sessions collection to find that session. So for example, right now, locally, I have this is my cookie. And if I go into here and I connect to my database and I look for all the sessions, you can see that this CD97 is right here. So I have a session in the database. And then what's awesome is that on this object, I am storing the user ID. So that's what I did. So I'm making sure there's a session in this user ID. If there isn't, then I just return. And when I actually create the incident, I'm passing in the user ID. So when I actually store that, and, then that, and that was it. That was, that's all I had to do to just store that. Um, I added a few little niceties in here to just add some nice error handling to show if it was a success or error. But successfully, what I have here now is I can go to create and do uh, banana boat three, submit, it says success. I go to home, banana boat three. And if I go to um, uh, incidents, I can see, where's my banana boat? There it is, and the creator ID is me. So, got that working. Uh, I was really annoyed that it wasn't working for a while, but it's working there now nicely. So, just wanted to give you that fun little update to kind of get you back in sync with this, um, with this episode. So, um, that's it. Uh, this is episode 6.5, it's not a full one, it's a very short video, so. I'm not going to worry about it, but uh, yeah, that was it. Uh, stay tuned for the next installment of X Days Since. And really, I should be tracking how long it's, how many days it's been since the last video in the series actually comes out. So, uh, catch you in the next one. Stay happy. Stay good. Bye.